Hello internet, my name is Nathan and guess what? I'm hungry again. Today we're gonna make a katsu curry. Now I know we all love the katsu curry from Wagamama's and if that's the only thing you order from Wagamama's, you need to grow up and mature your taste buds because there are plenty of good options on there as well. But we all love the katsu curry unless you're vegetarian. Do they do a vegetarian katsu curry? I'm sure they do, but I can't remember because it's been so long since we've been in lockdown. However, there's gonna be no vloggy shot bits today because I've already been. It's Valentine's Day on the day I'm recording this, so I didn't really wanna go out and vlog. I just wanted to chill at home. So let's just jump straight into it. So like I said in the previous video, let's get all our prep and mise en place done. Therefore, we're not running around the kitchen when we're having to cook. For the sauce, we're gonna need a finely chopped onion, garlic, and ginger. All right, and don't forget your two containers, one for peeling and one for prep. All right, so with ginger, you're gonna get a lot of people telling you to peel it with a spoon, a peeler, the back of a knife. Personally, I don't care. If you're in a restaurant industry and you're saving on cost in order to get, you know, cost per meal down, yes, you're probably gonna do that. Right, and what I mean about that wastage is I've now just in 10 seconds chopped this piece of ginger up into a nice usable piece. I have this wastage, which is very thin. I mean, yes, this is wastage, but it's also very minimal. Like, that's not a lot of wastage. If you want, throw it on some tea when you're having tea at night. So now we're gonna move on to our breading station. So you're gonna need flour, eggs, and breadcrumbs. Now this is me just being honest with you. I bought this this week. I didn't use it for the recipe I intended to use it and it got left at the back of my cupboard. And now it has gone stale. But we're gonna repurpose this and make it into breadcrumbs. Right, now here we have a blender from I think the 1980s that my parents had when they first got married or something ridiculous like that. Um, the safety switch is broken. I have to use a chopstick in order to use it. I do not recommend using broken kitchen appliances at all. Just replace them. I'm broke. I can't afford a new one. This will have to do. If you don't want to make breadcrumbs at home, that is no problem. I actually also have some breadcrumbs in my top drawer. I just wanted to show you guys, if you wanted to use leftover stale bread, you can repurpose them. And that is how you make breadcrumbs. Look at the size of that chicken titty. Now, normally, nearly dropped all my sauce then. Normally, I don't use chicken breast. I find it dries out a lot quicker. But for this, I feel like it's customary to use chicken breast. Normally, I'm always using chicken thighs, but today, chicken breast. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this in half, flatten it out, breadcrumb it, and fry it. Okay, and now we are gonna double panko these just so they get an extra layer of breadcrumbs, just to ensure we get an extra crispy fried chicken. Sorry, I, I dropped the internet. I was trying to film, but it didn't work. So let's just fry the other chicken instead. All right, so whilst that fries, we're gonna go make the rice. Let me introduce you to my new rice cooker. I haven't named it yet. It's gonna be a girl. I need you lot to name it. Comment in the comment section what I should name my new rice cooker. She does a good job. All right, so this is the rice cooker. I don't know how to use it, so I brought my Asian friend <laughs> to come teach me friend. how to use it. Friend, take that back. All right, so I brought my uh, my beautiful girlfriend to come and teach me how to use a rice cooker because I've never actually used one, but we own it and we've used it three times and it makes very nice rice. So this part of the video is over to you. Bye-bye. Oh wait, you're leaving? 
all you have to do is switch the button, plug it in, put it down there, switch the on button, and then you take that button and press it down. It's that easy. Come in here. Yeah? I'll make you do it. Here. Oh no, you're doing the rice. Oh, okay. You want me to do that? You, you're... Have you seen that little cup? Uh, it was on here and I lost it. Oh, can this guy shut up, knock it? All right, so for the sauce, you can just leave it like this. You can pass it through a sieve or what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend it because I want a nice smooth consistency. And that is how you get nice fluffy rice, mate. Just invest in a rice cooker. Honestly, Uncle Roger's right. You know what? I was gonna serve this piece, instead I'm just gonna eat it. Mm. This is a 9.5 out of 10. I'm very happy with it. 10 out of 10. Guys, I forgot to mention, I defrosted some chicken stock that I made two weeks ago for this. And the recipe for that is also on that video from two weeks ago. Um, I think it's so much better than using pre-bought chicken stock, but if you can use pre-bought chicken stock, there's no problem with that at all. So if you like this sort of video, you can like it, you can subscribe it. No, you can subscribe to me. That's the one. And um, yeah, I think um, I gotta say thank you now for watching. So thank you. I'll see you later. Have a beautiful day. Don't do too many drugs. Stay hydrated. Bye!